for a little bit of good news here. Mayday strikes, they're a happening. Mayday strikes are a happening, and this is what you can expect. The Vice, you know, again, Vice has been covering these strikes. I, I got to say, not the biggest Vice fan in the world. And I always say that. You guys know that. Not a big fan of Vice, but I got to say, with these strikes, they're one of the few larger corporate outlets that have actually been covering the strikes. They're one of the only ones. On the corporate, and of course, independent media is covering it. But as far as corporate outlet goes, Vice, for whatever reason, one of the only ones. Although Wall Street Journal, we talked about it yesterday. Wall Street Journal uh, gave a little bit of coverage to you know they, they talked about it in in a doom and gloom way, like oh no, the strikers are coming. People want human rights. We don't like this, but they're acknowledging it because that's how big it's gotten. Even Wall Street Journal has to pay attention. But here's what we can expect. Amazon's Whole Foods Instacart workers organize a historic mass strike. On May 1st, frontline workers at some of the biggest corporations in the country will lead a mass strike action, asking customers to boycott Amazon, Instacart, Whole Foods, and Target. A series of work stoppages, sick outs, and protests in, we in recent weeks will culminate on Friday, May 1st. Colin Burra May Day, baby, in a historic strike organized by frontline workers at some of the country's largest corporations. Workers at Amazon's Whole Foods, Instacart, Walmart, FedEx, everybody's favorite places. Come on. Target and Shipped, which, by the way, Shipped is that thing. Remember we talked about that? That's like that app. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Remember, I was like, I don't know what that. It's an app that works with Target. And uh, I've never used the app. I don't have the app. I wasn't aware of it. But uh, so I am, I've been protesting shipped a long time now, you guys. I have been participating in the shipped lockout. <laughs> I'm really nailing it with that, with that shipped lockout. I was crushing it before I even knew I was crushing it. And I said that. I was like, I'm going to continue, you guys. You can count on me. I will not download this app that I didn't know existed. I wonder what other, man, I don't mean to pat myself on the back, folks, but I mean, I wonder what other what other strikes I'm crushing it at. I wonder, because there's a bunch of apps I don't know about. I wonder what other horrible ones I don't have, huh? And you too. You're doing good if you don't know about apps. Don't know much about apps? Good on you. Huh? You say apps, I say uh, I'll have the kale salad, please. Huh? See? Anyway. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, these same companies, by the way, making record profits. They're not providing basic protections for frontline workers. They're making record profits. Amazon is raking in money hand over fist. They're not providing, they're not even providing adequate hand sanitizer for their warehouse employees. They're not telling their warehouse employees when someone tests positive for COVID. It takes uh, somebody to show up and send the person home. All right, we covered all this, all that on the show. A flyer circulated widely on social media. Let's check out the flyers, shall we? Let's check out the official flyer. Here we go. Here's the here's the uh, here's the link they have. This is the link from the Vice article. Whole Foods, Amazon, Target, Instacart workers striking May first. So this is the the hashtag is General Strike Twenty Twenty and hashtag Essential Workers Day. So Amazon, Whole Foods, Target, Instacart. We we'll had a little bit of Walmart for good measure. You know. All right, so back to this article. Let's see what let's see what else is going on here. Oh, Amazon has something to say. Oh, this is from Chris Smalls, the lead organizer of the May 1st walkout, who is the person who also organized the protest at the Staten Island warehouse and the person who came in to send the person who tested positive for COVID home. That's who Chris Smalls is. We covered him on the show before. So here's what he has to say. It's more powerful when we come together. Chris Smalls, uh, lead organizer of the May 1st walkout, and uh, he was fired from Amazon Staten Island Fulfillment Center after staging a walkout on March 31st. Uh, here's what he has to say here. We formed an alliance between a bunch of different companies because we all have one common goal, which is to save the lives of workers and communities. Right now isn't the time to open up the economy. Amazon is a breeding ground for the virus, which is spreading right now through multiple facilities. Uh, all right, so here's what Amazon says. Here's what Amazon says in response. While we respect people's right to express themselves, we object to the, I don't, I'm just trying to make a gross voice. 
While we respect people's right to express themselves, we object to the irresponsible actions of labor groups in spreading misinformation and false claims about Amazon during this unprecedented health and economic crisis. A tool from Amazon told Motherboard in response to the news of the, of the May Day walkout. Man, talk about gaslighting 101. They're accusing labor groups of spreading misinformation. They're spreading misinformation because there's no disputing what the situation in those warehouses are like. There's been enough testimonials of the people who are there. Those warehouses are not sanitized properly. People are not given gloves. They're not given masks. They're not given hand sanitizer. They're not given adequate pay. They're a breeding ground for COVID-19. That has been verified and over-verified by people who are there. And here's some PR stooge for the company. Some person who probably has some mar- some master's degree in marketing who decided to use their powers for evil and said, I'm going to be a willing stooge for Amazon, issues this BS statement. You have the right to express yourself. People need living wages. People need sanitary conditions. They're not expressing themselves. This is not like, hey, the workers want a right to an open mic night once a month. No, the workers want rights to adequate working conditions and fair wages. And they want to be protected. And they want to have sick leave when they're sick. And they don't want compromised people who are susceptible to a deadly disease to have to come to work. This isn't them expressing themselves. But they, what, what would you think they're, you think they're protesting for the right to write a book together? They're standing up for their lives. The right to express themselves. How disconnected. We object to the irresponsible actions. Well, I reject to the irresponsible actions of Amazon and Jeff Bezos. That's what I object to. And whoever wrote this statement, uh, please take a look in the mirror. They won't even name the person, by the way. They let these people stay in anonymity because they're just willing tools for Amazon. Wow. But hey, protests. <laughs> so May Day, let's, go, let's give a list of the companies again. And this is just some of the big ones. Amazon, Whole Foods, Instacart, Walmart, FedEx, Target, Shipped. May Day. It's happening. And that's what needs to happen. National strike, general strike, rent strike. It's time. All right. We don't like the irresponsible actions. Nah. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your news.